Hello, in this video we will understand how to use packet tracer. So guys, first of all, we should be clear with the devices that we are going to use in this software. So we have a list. First of all, we will be using computers or servers. So these will be our end machines. Next we need switches. Then we will be using some routers also and at last we need cables to connect them. So in the beginning, we will concentrate on these four type of devices, how to select them, how to connect them using the cable, all these things we will be discussing in this particular video. So if you see the left hand side at the bottom, you if you scroll your mouse over these icons, you can see first is router, then we have switch, hubs, wireless devices, connections, and in the second row, we have computers, firewall, cloud, custom made devices and multi-user connection. So first of all, let's understand how to select computers. So if you want to select computers, go to end devices, click on end devices. You will get all the end devices available here. So I will be using first generic end device. I will click on the device and I will click in the white area and I will get a device here. So this is my computer. Now let's say I want to select a server. So you can see here a third device. This is the server. When you move your cursor over the device, here you will get the name also. So like this is server, this is printer, this is the IP phone. So like this, you can see the name is changing. So let's say I want to select a server. I will click on the server and I will click in the white area. I, will, I am getting a server here. Now let's say I want to connect this computer to the server. How I will do it? So there is an option called connections. So just click on the connection and the first option is automatically choose connection type. What do you mean by this? You don't have to select a particular cable type when you are connecting different type or same type of devices. Packet Tracer will do it for you. It will select the cable automatically. So just click on the option and click on the device and click on another device. Now you can see these two devices are connected. So this is actually a cross cable and we have not selected the cable. Packet Tracer has automatically selected it because we are using the option automatically choose connection type. Now let's say I want to make one more topology. So this particular collection of devices, cables and how we are connecting them is called topology. Let's say I want to connect a computer. Now this time I'm using a switch also. So I will click on the switch. So with switch I will use again the first switch. Let's say I need a router also. I will click on router. Which router I will use? First generic router. Fine. Generic number one. So let's say again I need to connect them. I will click on connections. Automatically choose connection type. I will click on this option. Now I will connect computer and switch. So this is actually a straight cable. Now I, again, I have to connect switch and router. So again, I have to click on this connection option. Like this, we can connect. This is also straight cable. Now let's say I have the same topology again. Now, if you remember in the last case, I have to choose the connection option two times because first of all, I have to connect computer with the switch. Then I have to connect switch with the router. But in this case, I will show you how you can overcome that problem. When you are clicking on connection option, the first option automatically choose connection type, press control and then click. So what will happen now you don't have to select connection option again and again and you can connect as many devices as you want to. So guys in this video we have understood how to make a topology on packet tracer, how to select computers, routers, switches and devices. Thank you.